Crimea, a small peninsula washed by the warm waters of the Black and Azov Seas. Millions of tourists from the whole world have been here and continue to come here every year. They are always amazed by the unique character and beauty of this divine land. Mountain peaks and deep canyons, thunderous waterfalls and peaceful lakes, luxurious palaces and evergreen parks will always attract cavalcades of fans of quality holidays and adventurous travel. Crimea is also a popular place for conducting various tourist exhibitions and art festivals, scientific seminars and international conventions. Crimea is an autonomous republic which is part of Ukraine, a modern European country with a population of over 45 million people and the largest territory in Europe after Russia. The flight time from Ukraine's capital Kiev to Crimea's capital Simferopol is one hour. This is the most convenient way of getting here. The Kiev International Airport receives flights from almost all countries in the world and there are five to six flights daily from Kiev to Simferopol. To get to Yalta, where the convention will take place, a transfer from Simferopol will be organized with the modern comfortable buses. The ride will take just over an hour, which will pass quickly while you enjoy the scenery of Crimean mountains, steep cliffs, panoramic views of the seashore and the endless shimmer of the Black Sea. The climate of the peninsula is practically the same as the climate of the popular Mediterranean resorts, such as Portugal, France, Spain and Italy. At the end of the June and the beginning of July, the average temperature of the south shore is 27 to 29 degrees Celsius. It rarely rains at this time. The seawater warms up to 25 degrees Celsius, and the swimming season lasts from the mid-May until mid-October. Numerous hotels in Crimea not only offer their guests comfortable suits, but also spacious conference room, internet, spa treatments, swimming pools, gym services, The centuries-old Crimean history is also very eventful, and it brings together the cultures and traditions of various epochs and nationalities. It is not by chance that Crimea is abundant in architectural structures, which makes a holiday in Crimea not only useful but interesting in many ways. In 1911, in Livadia, the big white palace was erected for the family of the last Russian Emperor Nikolai II. The gala halls of the palace breathe history. The world has chosen Crimea before. Exactly here, in Yalta, in February 1945, the famous Crimean conference took place, which included the leaders of the anti-Hitler coalition, the USSR, the USA and the United Kingdom. Since then, Crimea became a traditional place to hold conventions and even international conferences. Right here, in the historical royal dining hall, a gala dinner will be held for the participants of the event. The Crimean mountains deserve special consideration. This is the beauty, pride and a great asset of the peninsula. And look at the names. The Black Mountain, the Blacksmith, the Bear and the Cat. Here it lies, with its back curved on the shore of the Black Sea. Speaking in pancreatology terms, this reminds the words of the famous Russian pathologist Alexei Brikosos. The pancreas is a beautiful and calm, like a sleeping panther. But if you wake her up, she won't act so calm. Winemaking has a special place in Crimea culture and traditions. The Duke Lev Sergeyevich Galitsyn was the first to bring this art to the peninsula. The most popular resort town of Crimea is of course Yalta, the pearl of the south shore. Yalta is the sea and mountains in the clouds, cypress trees and narrow alleys, old courtyards and little towers, gorgeous temples and luxurious villas, and of course the waterfront, which is the main attraction of the city. In the recently renovated Czech of theater, there is a modern conference hall, equipped with the modern facilities, which will be at the service of the participants of the event. Not so long ago, the International Gynecology Convention was held here. At the guest service are modern cozy hotels of the South Shore, all of which are up to European standards. The cost of a room is anywhere between 30 and 100 euros per day. All hotels are located in the close proximity of the convention location. Nevertheless, for the participants' convenience, there will be an organized transfer from the hotels to the conference hall and back. 
In the leisure time, all guests will be offered various culinary delights in the local restaurants and bars, entertaining sea tours, premium wine tasting in sour cellars, and of course the wonderful, one-of-a-kind and ever-festive atmosphere of Yalta. You can visit the legendary city of Sevastopol, see the ships of the Russian and Ukrainian Black Sea Navy, visit the house of the great Russian writer Chekhov, the palace of the court Vorontsov, and the palace of the Russian Tsar Alexander III. Also, you can admire the biggest collection of paintings in the world by Ivazovsky. Visit the Han Palace in Bakhchisarai and watch the sunrise on the peak of Ipetri. See you soon!